MBA class. The old man, the old man, Grandpa Holman, as I was called, was the valedictorian. You work and focus and see what you want. So whether you go public, private, government, whether you become an internal auditor or an external auditor, whether you want to be a bookkeeper, Begin to plan today. Take your interest and go with it. Take the thing that appeals to you. I like manufacturing. I like financial services. Well, then focus yourself in that direction. I want to be a leader one day. Then begin that journey today. Get a diverse background. Get your seat there. I know. I know Dr. Z will shoot me. And I've got a risk of Justice Burley right now. <laughs> if you're going to take the CPA exam, get your license. Don't take it as a mental exercise. Take it with the intent of doing something. Okay? Oh, praise Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I run the risk of being thrown out of here if this is over. You could do that. You want to be a CPA? Be a CPA. Get your license. Don't say, man, I took the exam and I passed it. Be it. Because it's a learned, shared experience all CPAs have. We have all had a difficult apprenticeship. I used to put the, well, honest to God, the New York City phone book in my downtime at the office. We had to put the phone numbers. Someone took the time with a comptometer to go ahead and add up the numbers in the column on a phone book. And we had to sit there and on our little ad machines, add them up, and debug our errors to learn. I did tax returns with <coughs> little filling sheets. Matter of fact, I did a couple of even manually. That's part of the learn share experience we all have. Our apprenticeships are important. They open our eyes to the world. <coughs> Do what you're comfortable with. And then ratchet up your discomfort later on. Learn your trade. Okay? No one wants you to walk in and be the CFO of the company day one. Learn. Go ahead and, and sort of ease into it. Use the skills that you are most comfortable with. You have a whole array of accounting knowledge, right? You're all generalists. You're all getting broad-based accounting knowledge. By now, if you're in the, at, the, at the tail end of this route, you know there are things I will never go do. I will never do government accounting. I knew that in 1978. <laughs> <laughs> I will never do that. But did I want to be an auditor? Yeah, I wanted to be an auditor. Did I want to do, I love consolidation. I wish it would be fundamentally for consolidation. I want to work for a big company. I had all those things in mind. The things you've been exposed to, you can start Xing out certain things. And then highlight things you want. Circle with adults and stuff. I'm just looking at my picture. So, in your career planning, please don't focus on that. Right? And you really can't go far. Okay? Professional development. Um, keep your accounting skills sharp. Keep them sharp. You guys are in an unusual time. I, uh, I'm not liking where I am. my skills sharp because with all the IFRS stuff going on, we're getting convergence. It's happening. President of the United States, I've never heard a sitting president of the United States ever speak about accounting, but I heard President Obama speak about accounting. <coughs> Said that it's they're gonna converge. You guys are in the right spot. Because guys, people like me are gonna go have to go back to school. You're getting it at the front end and you will be indoctrinated in the whole thing. You'll be there for the ride. But realize by opening that world up, you've just opened up a portfolio of opportunity that's great. <coughs> Your skill set, I don't have to go learn something. I, I tell my accounting class, um, in, at Women Mary, I had to do a overseas stint, and I went to Brazil and, um, and Argentina. And I was intimidated because my task was to do a review of the, um, of the Brazilian business school. My host. I had to do a review, they were in five kinds of trouble. And I opened the books, and I had a tremendous amount of comfort. First of all, they were manual books. I think they're 
But I had a tremendous amount of comfort. You know why? Because debit credit language is universal. I can, I can understand. Now, knowing what the book is, I can basically navigate because you know what's on top of that book? What's the first page of the ledger, guys? I open that ledger, what's going to be there? Come on. Your accounting, you, you're not my fundamentals. <laughs> the cash. The chart of accounts is structured the same way. Man, I felt really good. I, I was drinking a little bit too. <laughs> I felt good because I knew that that skill set was transferable. I sat there in Brazil, did the analysis, had a translator, and presented to them where the school was going to go, where I would go with their best recommendations. I led the team as the chief accountant of my, of my cohort uh, to that. It's amazing. And in a world of convergence, your skill sets and your knowledge base that you're going to require in the coming years in the field will, will just be great. You have a whole, again, a whole set of opportunities. But you've got to keep the skills sharp. You don't let it slip. You don't fall behind. Your education hasn't ended with the succession. Those of you who moved into the master's program, God bless you. I think it's a good move. But even after your degree, you've got to keep the Keep an eye on it. Develop a tool set. This is something that in my career, as I train accountants, as I mentor, uh, I've mentored professionally, probably around 30 professionals, 30 accounts, to lead companies now in the two different ways. This thing is very important. Develop your, your tool set now. First tool set, you guys have given. Remember my computer? I used to have to lug this through the streets of Manhattan in a steamer trunk with a hand truck in a nice polyester leisure suit. <laughs> and I said, you know, I had this big computer and those, you know, again, funny history. That computer had a screen that big, had a life of 30 years, I think. I think they thought computers were going to last forever. That, that had a 30, 15, 20 year life. So astronomically, you should have life. And you'd like this whole thing, and I was like taking the computer back with you wherever you went. You're in a place where you have an enormous set of tools, electronic tools available to you. Your proficiency in things like Microsoft Office should not be a question. It should never be a question. You should learn how to understand relational databases. You should learn the tools that are there. Because the value that you have as an accountant, a real honest to God <coughs> leader as an accountant, is to be able to take data and make information out of it. Anyone can crunch data. Anyone can load stuff in your ability to translate it and make it actionable information that will determine your success. So take advantage of all the tools that are out there. Learn them. Master them. Be that person who can do the, the sexiest spreadsheet on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> be that person. Do it. Show that you got it. Show that you can take it, convert it into a graph, and show them that that graph, that picture, tells the answer. For me, I talk in pictures. I talk to a lot of senior leaders at Cox. I've done presentations just with pictures. No words, no numbers. You just have to understand relationships. Master those tools. Get those skill sets under your belt. And the last piece is understand and begin to learn the difference between management, management, management and leadership. Learn to manage. Learn to manage projects, people, things. Learn to manage. That can be taught. Learn from people that you're going to work with that aren't good managers. I've learned the best lessons from the people who have been the worst managers. Why? What have I learned now? What not to do? Because I will never do that to someone. I lie. But the thing is, I learned from my bad managers. I learned from my good managers. But I've learned from everyone I've ever come in contact with. I learned from you guys. Your parallels in my Monday night class. I learned from them. I will never ask that question. So the key is separate the two. 